A typical day in this role as president of a company is a whole combination of trying to keep work moving, working with my executives on my team to make sure we're setting direction. And it's also meeting with clients and sometimes it's it's actually building strategy and planning. So if I were to like break down a typical week or a typical day, I would say about a third of my day is spent in meetings, really trying to progress work. Things that we're doing in terms of product development or the way in which we're running maybe a technology project or a platform capability to help manage our business. Another third of the business is planning. It's a really, really important part of making sure that you're keeping track of what are the deadlines and goals you have for a business because we have really important targets that we set at the beginning of the year. So think of them as like budgets, targets, sales goals. So we have to really make sure that we're doing a lot of strategic planning. And then at least a third of the business is meeting with clients, making sure that I know if our clients are happy and if they're really feeling that we're the company that's providing the best possible service for them. So it can vary from week to week. I travel both domestically and internationally, but you know we try and keep the travel to maybe about four or five days a month, but it can add up and it's a lot to juggle, but it really keeps me highly energized. So a day starts at typically seven in the morning and may end at seven at night but I'm never feeling bored and I'm always feeling like I'm learning something every single day. A typical location for me is actually floating around from building to building. We have locations in different cities, so a lot of times I'm meeting with my associates in different locations. We've moved pretty much far away from having individual offices anymore, so we have a much more open plan, open communication, a lot of collaboration space because we do a lot of design thinking, um, innovation, um, role play with customers, focus groups, and creating war room. So it keeps a high energy to the day and it gives me a chance to see a lot more people a lot more quickly than kind of locked in an office. But sometimes you just have to be on meetings and video conferences, but it's important to kind of try and stay as, as accessible as you possibly can wherever you are. What I love to do for fun is cook. I have traveled to over 55 countries all over the world, and I love to take cooking lessons. So on the weekend, for my family or on weekdays, I love to try new recipes. I study cooking books from Africa to Malaysia to Japan to wherever. And it's been this amazing cultural uh, bridge to where I've been, the people I met, the markets I shopped in, and boy, does my family love <laughs> the fact that I can share my passion and bring people to the table. And we host people all the time to our house.